okay I took that screw out it's tiny like literally tiny compared to everything else oops let's not lose it uh how tiny it is I, I need to be careful not to drop it so I'm just gonna like put this thing here so this thing is going to tether this one which just came out from this uh, there is some sort of again a mesh or some cotton type of thing that's on top I don't know why it is like done that way um, yeah so okay let's put it like this hmm. Okay, so now I guess I need to like pull this thing off before I insert the SSD. So as I said, it needs to the labeled part needs to come on top. Now I'm going to press it. See, it fits. Now I'm putting that mesh back. I don't know if you can see it. So, putting that mesh back. Now, the tricky part is to not lose this thing because once, I, if I drop it, it's like gone. That's how I feel. Oh my god, this is very hard to put because it's so tiny it's very hard I'm afraid I might just drop it inside and then it will never come out Oop. Shit. Um. oh no <laughs> okay let me just pop this out like, this is very difficult to do just orient this is of this and I cut my nails so if you have long fingernails you might be at a little bit advantages advantages here because advantages here because you can grab it easily but I don't have nails right now let's see if I can just put it yeah I don't know if it's important to have it um, this mesh thing on top or underneath let's try to have it underneath so if you are if you have like magnetic uh, screwdriver it's probably very good I don't I didn't purchase this okay yeah so if I insert it uh, to the tip of the screwdriver it's a bit easier even though the screwdriver is not magnetic it can kind of uh, fit so I don't know if I'm doing this right or wrong okay so here there is that mesh thing and it's like underneath and in fact it's like underneath the entire unit I don't know if it is important. There's all these meshes left and right. Uh, the fact that they put it underneath means maybe it needs to cushion between the unit and the metal underneath that. So I'm gonna unscrew it again to uh, try to uh, keep it underneath in case this is something of importance. I'm gonna stop the video. Okay. So I put it underneath. Now that mesh part is underneath on top of it is the small SSD and then I put the screw back in uh, just to replicate the way they did it I don't know if it's important or not but it now seems to be secure it's not really moving so basically I'm gonna put the panel back and then I will turn it on one thing to know is that there is an operating system installed here in the Windows 10. There's also an operating system installed here, Windows 10. But this is the one that comes with the Alienware. This is coming from my desktop. I believe that this is going to be not recognized. 
If I'm wrong, I might screw things up because then the computer might be confused. Um, but let's see, <laughs> let's see, let, let's find out. Um, so I'm just gonna try to put this back in and in order to do that, let's see if the directionality is important. These are the holes here, these are the holes here uh, that these protrusions need to get in. I don't know if it is important which part comes which because both sides seem to be the same. Uh, my intuition says that what is this? My intuition says that it needs to like the top needs to like come first and then bottom second. Uh, so let me. Try it that way. Let's see if I am right. So since I'm going to open it up technically again, so I I don't really I'm gonna take it out. So I don't really need to even if I close it. If you think about it, but. Uh, Okay, so I'm just applying pressure. I applied pressure there, I applied pressure here, and I'm applying pressure here. So I guess it's just a matter of pressure, left and right. And you, you are hearing all these clicks and such. Uh, the computer's quite sturdy, sturdy but uh, as I said, you need to have the right screwdriver, which is like number one. Unfortunately, there are more multiple number ones. Okay, so basically all those protrusions need to be just Need to be inserted and I think this is just done by old-fashioned pressure because I Don't see any other way and now I'm looking if It looks Normal everywhere because it looks normal. I guess so. This side, each, like, right sides, maybe slightly above looking. No, it's just me. I think it is completely. Uh, snatched in so one way to find out is you'll see once I try to screw everything bad back if they all screw fully inside then I will know that it's done that way if not then something is off hard Okay, so yeah, I'm not sure if this side is completely in. The top seems to be in. I guess it's in, so I'm just going to try to screw it. Oops, sorry. Um, damn, this is a tripod, but the legs need to be, so I'm not gonna fully put, pull everything, pull screw everything, just to see if things are screwing, this side seems to be screwing so far. Now this side is the important part. Top is screwing inside. What about these parts? This is going inside. And this was a bit different, difficult, but now it seems to be going inside. And this part 
which is the weird screw that has its ring seems to be screwing inside fully okay so I'm gonna now fully screw everything and uh, doesn't need to be super tight as I'm gonna open it up and take that SSD out it's not something that comes with the computer anyway so I need to take it out anyway um, I'm gonna send this back oh by the way the uh, if you have watched my previous videos you know that there was a screen backlight issue and I wanted an exchange but because they are short on certain parts um, they can't do an exchange because the new computer will arrive very late I'm not even here so I'm just gonna return this due to that backlight issue if there wasn't a backlight issue I wouldn't have returned it okay so things are pretty much screwed back in Pushing it fully. Yes, so you need to have the right screwdriver, otherwise, it doesn't work. Which is again called number zero, but there are different number zeros. Um, this needs to be this <laughs> larger number zero screwdriver that you need to put this thing to open this thing and close this thing and yeah so let me show you seems to be quite tight here here I wasn't sure but again I think it is it's completely tight there is that transparent part here in between. I don't know if you're seeing it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop the video and then we will turn this unit and see. So I put the SSD back in and now I'm going to turn on the computer. So let's see if it can boot up properly. As I said, now there, there are two SSDs that have two, two operating systems or one operating system installed in each, but one is the original, the other one's not. Let's see if it's gonna be an error or not. My gut feeling is there won't be. And, what the hell, roses are nice, reminders are great, I can help plan a Valentine's date. Nice job, whatever the hell that is. This is Cortana, courting with me, like flirting with me, and it boot up fine, so I assume the SSD is now inside, but is not causing any problem. So let's check the this PC, and okay, there are two things. This is the one. Yes, it is mostly used. There were programs installed. This is the new SSD, 128 gigabytes of SSD, and like it should have like. Um, Steam inside, Origin, OBS Studio, yeah, all these things are from the now dead uh, desktop computer. So, uh, yeah, I can basically reach these files and I guess I will be able to format this just by saying, hey, format. Yeah, I can format this. It's 128 gigabyte. I don't know why it says 118, but I guess it's rounding down. Uh, but now, I can completely empty this. Uh, if I were to use, if I were to keep this computer, I could use it as a extra data file, data uh, SSD. Uh, I'm not, uh, but uh, you can do this. So if you have M2 2242, you can use that small SSD slot uh, as another uh, SSD, basically for data or for anything else. And that concludes my uh, video. I'm not gonna uh, show the procedure of opening up and taking it, taking it out, uh, but basically it's a success now. So again, you need this, not this brand necessarily, but this uh, screwdriver to open the bottom up 
and afterwards installation is fine this means the cloth part can be underneath the SSD and then you put the SSD on top of it and then you put the screw on top of it and it works fine and the computer recognizes it fine well I'm glad I succeeded something about something that I miserably failed before thank you for watching